Hello. This is Dr. Girish Nelivigi, urologist and andrologist from Nelivigi Multispeciality and Urology Hospital, Bangalore. Welcome to my broadcast channel, Urology for Everyone. In this channel, I usually talk of urology topics and talk about, discuss about uh, various procedures, various disease conditions and this time I am going to talk on a case report that is a patient who had a particular problem and what was done for him. So what is a case? This is a middle-aged person who came from Yemen with urinary leak. He had been operated previously for stone in the bladder as well as stone in the urethra. But more importantly, he also had a neurological condition which affected his urinary control at birth. That is called myelomeningocele. This is a condition where the nerve control to the sphincter and the bladder which is responsible for controlling the flow of urine is damaged at birth and they will not have any control over their bladder or urine throughout their life. And as I told to make uh, it more complicated, he also had undergone surgeries in his bladder and the urethra for stones. So when he came to me, he had total leak of urine both in the day and night while he was sitting or sleeping or while he was walking. He had been treated at various places with tablets and also many injections but there was no improvement. So when he came, I did a preliminary evaluation. It was confirmed that he had a neurological problem which affected his urinary bladder. He already had multiple investigations with him which suggested that it was his neurological as well as a bladder and the urethral surgical problem which had caused this problem of urine leak. Therefore, I advised him to undergo a surgery called artificial urinary sphincter implantation. Now, let me explain a bit about this. When we want to control urine, there is a muscle called a sphincter in the urinary passage which is exactly like the valve of a car or a scooter tire which does not allow the escape of air. In the same way this sphincter or a valve does not allow the leak of urine uh, when the bladder is not full. However in such individuals that I explained they have a damage to the valve or the sphincter and the urine keeps on leaking. In very mild cases, this can be treated by exercises called Kegel's exercises. However, in more severe cases, Kegel's exercises do not help. Therefore, this patient was advised to undergo artificial urinary sphincter, which is nothing but a, an artificial valve which is implanted by a surgery in his urethra so that he can control urine on his own. So this artificial urinary sphincter is implanted by making a small cut in the perineum that is behind the scrotum and the urethra is isolated and we put this implant just surrounding the urethra. There is a button which is attached to this implant which is implanted under the skin. So whenever the patient wants he presses the button, the sphincter or the cuff becomes loose and he can pass urine. After about two minutes, the cuff becomes tight again and causes compression of the urethra and the urine leak stops. So this is how an artificial urinary sphincter works. So the surgery takes about one and a half hours. The hospitalization time is number of days is about two days and the patient can go home after two days resuming almost all his normal activities. 
after about six weeks we check for the tightness of the cuff and if necessary we do some adjustments and we also activate the sphincter this artificial urinary sphincter once implanted is there for lifetime and it does not malfunction because most of the joints are fitted in the factory and the fluid which is there in the cuff is also filled in the factory itself so there are no loose joints or leaking joints so the life of this implant is assured so this is a very interesting and a rare case because artificial urinary sphincter implantation is not a very common surgery that's why i wanted to share this surgical procedure with you and if you have got urine leak because of such reasons and you have been advised such surgery you can contact me and we can assess and discuss further about it thank you for watching this video bye